Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to hide this USB cable which is connected to the front of the unit. Uh, you can see that it's uh, jutting out like a sore thumb in otherwise what is a fairly clean uh, console at the front. Uh, what you're going to basically do is you're going to solder a female USB connector to the same port. So you'll have to open this unit and expose the circuit board and just uh, solder the four or five leads to the existing USB port. But be warned that you can't use both the ports together. You can only use one. So basically that renders this one useless if you've already connected the one through the rear. I'm going to show you how it's done. It's pretty simple. At least uh, you could do this much to hide this uh, USB cable. That removes the front panel. Now you'll see these two ribbon cables connecting the motherboard to the LCD unit here. And uh, they have been locked with these uh, clips on the connector. You have to push the clip up. And pull the cable out. Be very gentle when you're doing it. You do not want these uh, cables to get cut. Because if it does, then you're done. You have two screws here as well. So that uh, separates the LCD unit from the motherboard. So this is the LCD unit. We'll have to remove this panel as well. Now once the memory card uh, enclosure is also removed, you have two screws here. You'll have to remove this. Uh, guys, you are going to need a shielded USB cable for uh, connecting the extension. So what I did was I had a micro USB uh, cable with me. One side is a normal USB, the other side is a micro USB cable. I must have got it with some uh, device. I simply cut off the male portion of it and you can see this uh, shielding here. This is required because otherwise the unit may have uh, you know difficulties connecting with the smartphone and uh, other devices. So what you need to do is uh, get a USB cable and uh, cut off the male portion there and expose the you know uh, cables and then we'll take it from here. We basically have to strip these uh, insulation off and uh, solder it there. This is the rear of the USB port and we need to solder the four leads from the USB cable to this port. This is going to be the hardest part because the leads on the board are very closely spaced and you have to do the soldering very precisely to avoid shorting any two leads. From left to right, the first lead is ground and it will be a black cable. The second is data plus and it will be a green cable. The third is data minus and it will be a white cable. And the last one on the extreme right is plus five volt and it will be a red cable. Solder the leads very patiently, prepare each lid and solder it to the terminals on the board. So guys, we've managed to somehow solder these uh, leads here. The most pathetic solder that I could do. Uh, because these cables would just not uh, stick to the solder. So somehow I managed to stick it to these four uh, leads here. Uh, but I'm pretty sure you'll have to, you know, uh, secure this uh, solder using some hot melt glue or something. So when these cables move, it doesn't come off. Because once you've sealed it, then it'll be a pain uh, to, you know, get this all uh, redone. So I'll just do a bench test quickly to see if this is working. And then uh, I'll uh, probably have some hot melt uh, glue poured on top of this solder head so it'll remain secure there. So the other end is going to be connected to this uh, female uh, USB connector. It is a screw type terminal which uh, comes off like this for the convenience and they have clearly marked uh, all the different leads here. We are only concerned about these four. We can just omit the fifth lead which is uh, ground negative data plus uh, data minus and uh, positive data plus is uh, green color 
A minus is obviously uh, black, data minus is white and positive is red. We'll just uh, connect these uh, terminals to it. So that is uh, screw to the terminals here. Now let's connect this and see if it is worth all this exercise before I screw it down. Okay, so time for bench test. I've just connected the positive and negative leads to my uh, uh, bench power supply unit. Let's try powering it on. Yes. There you go. Okay, so this is working. Now we need to see if the USB part is working. Let me just bring a cable. So I have this lightning cable here. Let me try connecting it. Guys, so I poured some uh, hot glue and uh, used the heat gun, so you can see. Part of it got uh, slightly melted here, the plastic enclosure, but it's not visible otherwise. Uh, just secure these uh, cables here, so poured some uh, hot glue and used the heat gun. That's how this particular part got uh, melted. So please take care about this aspect. Now we'll assemble this back. Guys, now here I'd suggest, you know, uh, if you have a cable tie, it will be a good idea to uh, tie this cable to this hole right here. Because otherwise in the event that you pull this uh, uh, without uh, intention, it may actually, you know, uh, pull it out from there. So you don't want that. Okay, so we'll try assembling all the remaining components back. So the LCD panel enclosure is uh, completed. Now we'll have the other part assembled, which is the motherboard. Now we'll have to secure these screws to the side. These two. Reset the position to the top, insert it gently. And then push the tab back. That finishes the ribbon connectors. Now for the final part, it's very simple. You just have to insert it into these slots here. There are two slots. That's it. 
have all the remaining screws to be connected back. So that completes uh, all the screws and enclosures we have to put. I've just trimmed this cable as short as possible because I don't want any unwanted interference. What we'll do is we'll strip this insulation off and uh, connect it to this uh, uh, USB connector once again. So I've shortened the cable here. It's about this much long now. Now let's do one last bench test and I'll take it to the car and install it. Awesome guys, so this is working. There you go. Everything is working as it should. So cool, I guess uh, that completes it. I'll just uh, connect the unit back in the car and uh, that completes our activity. So guys, uh, we've installed the unit in my car and uh, the cable is routed uh, through the back of the unit. This is my lightning cable. As you can see, the front port is empty. I'll start the car and show you how this works. there you see everything works beautifully is to connect a wireless uh, carplay adapter to the cable so in that case you can completely avoid this uh, lightning cable as well so I hope uh, the video was useful. Thanks for uh, watching and if there are any comments, do let me know. Bye guys.